I would like to thank Craig J for sending me this story that is coming out, unfortunately, from the state of Maryland, but I am almost certain it is nowhere near where I live. These raggedy motherfuckers here. But anyway, this is the Davis family by the names of Beverly Gary Scott Davis. Care to guess which one is the son and which one is the husband? I know it's kind of hard to tell because they both look old as fuck. But anyway... This family right here got accused of punching, tackling, and choking the cops, and they were arrested with no shots fired. And I would love to know, where the hell is that blue lies, that's lies without the V, matter crew at? You know, the ones that's always talking about black people need to comply and do this and do that and calling us thugs and whatnot. Where are they at? They are as about as quiet as a dead church mouse. Let me go ahead and read this story. A Maryland family was arrested after, I'm not going to say allegedly, after they were punching and choking officers who responded to their home. And despite the violent display, no shots were fired by the cops. Beverly Davis was confrontational when officers arrived at her home in Middle River, Baltimore County. Police told the Baltimore Sun. She allegedly, no, she punched two of the cops in their face. And when another officer tried to arrest her, Beverly's husband, Gary Davis, age 54, tackled him to the ground and choked him until he lost consciousness. Authorities told the, the couple's son, Scott Davis, swatted pepper spray away from another officer and prevented her from assisting her comrades. Police had been responding to calls that Scott Davis, age 30, had been fighting with his brother at the time of the attack. The family was arrested outside their home during the violent, following the violent tw May 28, 20th melee. Beverly, whose mugshot shows her face and hair caked in blood, and two officers were treated and released from the area hospital. Many were quick to note that the confrontation in Baltimore County stands in contrast to other officer-involved incidents, many involving black victims dominating headlines. Protesters took to the street in Sacramento of March after Stephon Clark, a 22-year-old black man, was shot to death in his grandmother's backyard. Authorities who fired off more than 20 shots believed Clark had been armed. It was later revealed he only was holding onto his cell phone at the time. A month later, police in New York gunned down an unarmed black man walking down the street in Crown Heights neighborhood in Brooklyn. Authorities said 34-year-old Saheed Vassell, that Vessel took a two-handed shooting stance before police fired him 10 times. Despite reports the victim had been carrying a firearm, officers later determined to be a pipe with some sort of knob on the end of it, which actually turned out to be a shower head. Uh, people on social media were quick to point out authorities did not use a comparable amount of force against the grants, despite their aggressive attack. I think that was supposed to say Davis. Gary Davis held one of the officers in a chokehold until he passed out. Twitter Dominique Alexander wrote, no one was shot. Another person said disparity in the confrontation term WrestleMania compared to violence dispersed despite less hostile circumstances reflects why people have elected to kneel during the national anthem. Four people in Maryland have been fatally shot by police officers so far in 2018, and at least two of them were black. Each person involved in a fatal confrontation with an officer in the state was armed at the time, according to a Washington Post database dedicated to tracking deadly police shootings. Beverly, Gary, and Scott Davis are each charged with disorderly contact, resisting arrest, second-degree assault, and assaulting a police officer. A juvenile was also charged. Now, this right here is proof that whiteness is truly at work it never takes a day off it is around the clock and it is always on time because let that have been three black davises it would have probably ended with all of them probably being dead there would be no mug shots there would be no arrest and if they should have arrested them they would probably be arresting a non-breathing body because, you know, they're known to arrest you when you're not breathing. And they'll say that they'll probably say stop resisting when you're not breathing and all types of things. Like I said, no one can tell me that this privilege thing for them does not work and cannot tell me that it is not real. It is very real and it is very much alive. But I did read one comment that actually made sense. Someone said, well, you know what? I actually applaud them for actually putting... Uh, well, I could you could say hand, foot, arm, 
around neck choke, whatever you want to call it to them because they did us a favor considering how they treat us. So I guess you can look at it from that angle as well. But either way, the, the, the stance is still there. White privilege is real. And there's no sense of denying that. And people say, oh, white privilege only belongs to the people who have money. I said, nope. You can look at these three and tell that they look like they are some backwoods hicks. And if they aren't, they did a damn good job of keeping a very good up, a good masquerade. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. I'll talk to you in the next one.